Hey everybody, this is Kyle Altera here with Kai Talks About, and in this video I'll be introducing you to Laura, my baby pet black rat snake. So I actually got her from Underground Reptiles about two months ago. Um, she wasn't very expensive, I think she was like $29.99, and um, I have her enclosure made, and it's actually, um, I think she can see herself, she seems to be taking keen interest. But um, yeah, so I got her... On underground reptiles and she's been pretty you know pretty decent snake to deal with um, her handling is not that bad um, she actually I actually try to acclimate her to uh, being handled so about every day or at least every other day I actually take her out of her um, out of her enclosure and I hold her for about 30 minutes um, and it's been good so far. I've never had her try and strike at me um, when I was handling her from the time that I got her uh, up until recently because um, there was actually an issue with my enclosure where it had a small little hole in it that I was going to patch up. Um, the hole was natural. It wasn't like I broke anything, but um, the sealant for it uh, came loose and she was actually able to sneak out. And for two weeks, I looked through all of my, you know, every nook and cranny of my house, and I could not find her. She was gone. And I just waited for a while. I kept looking, kept an eye out. And about yesterday, um, I turned the heat on because it's really cold where I am right now, or at least it was um, last night. So I turned the heat on in my house, and then I came out the next morning because, you know, about to get ready for work. And I happened to see her under my refrigerator with half her body sticking up. And I was like, Laura! And then I went to grab her. Uh, of course, I did it tenderly, but she obviously resisted because uh, she was gone for two weeks. And um, yeah, she was not happy. She actually bit me a couple times. Uh, I don't know how many, but she was pretty upset. Uh, she bit me a couple times. She musked and she was rattling her tail and everything. She was not a happy camper. But then I got her back in her enclosure and I fully sealed her entire enclosure. Now there is ventilation in it, but um, yeah, after I got it sealed, I came back from work, which was today, and she's still a little jumpy, but as you can see, she's pretty calm now. Uh, she actually reaches for my hand to try and slither on, uh, to continue slithering. And she seemed to have calmed down quite a bit from when I first, uh, right before I lost her, actually. So if you look on my Instagram, I actually posted a uh, picture, which is the thumbnail for the video, like introducing Laura and her Arduino controlled enclosure. And that day is when I lost her. So it was, you know, I was bummed out. I'll admit I was pretty bummed out because I was actually growing a tester. You know, she has a name. She's, you know, I'm handling her about like, you know, at least two hours a, um, a week. So I was pretty bummed out. And thankfully, lo and behold, she actually is uh, still alive. Um, it's hard to see, but if you look really closely, you can actually see um, her back. It actually has a peak in it. So with her spine, it has a slight peak. And that's because she hasn't eaten for two weeks. So along with introducing her, I'm also going to be feeding her um, in front of you guys. So, you know, you can just see how she eats, what she eats and whatnot. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and feed her. Probably going to feed her about two pinky mice, maybe. Um, so let's go ahead and get her back in her enclosure and we'll go ahead and discuss her feeding. So what we have here is a soon to be frozen thawed pinky mouse. So this is actually one of the larger pinky mice that I got. I just got it from a pet store. Uh, it didn't cost a whole lot. And as you can see, it's frozen, newborn mouse and that was killed. And it will now serve as food for Laura. So what I like to do um, is I have a heat gun, non-sponsored, but I have a heat gun that I got from Ace, the hardware store. And this is what I'm going to be using to heat the pinky mouse up. Um, I prefer this because it thoroughly warms it and it's just a lot quicker to be honest. So I'm just going to do and 
also, along with the heat gun, I have these little tweezers. So I'm gonna have this on the side so it doesn't heat up. And this is an oven safe uh, container. So I just put it on low. And just heat it up a little bit. I try and get on, on all sides. It's almost like you're cooking it, but not really. Cause it's kind of weird saying like, hey, I'm cooking a frozen mouse <laughs> for my snake. So uh, I don't know if you guys probably can't see, but it's already starting to melt obviously cause uh, this heat gun, it gets pretty warm. So I like to make sure that, you know, it gets uh, evenly uh, heated. So I just move it around a little bit. Uh, you can already see it's definitely uh, starting to melt quite quickly. So just want to make sure that there aren't any real cold spots. Make sure it's nice and warm. Um, so it'll be easier for Laura to digest because her body doesn't have, ex have to expend extra energy to heat up the meal. And then from heating it up, breaking it down. So by warming it, I just ensure that her body needs to just break it down. Another thing is when I end up feeding uh, this pinky mouse to Laura, I'm gonna make sure that I present it to her head first so that it's easier to go down. So if you look closely at the body, you can actually see how everything tends to go one way, uh, the legs, the arms and whatnot. So it's easier to slide down her throat and enter her stomach when you position it as you see here, head first. So um, I'm thinking about trying to get my own population of mice so that I don't have to spend so much money with these frozen thaws. Uh, I'd only feed her about once, maybe twice a week, but with her being as thin as she is, you can actually see her spine peaking, going to a peak, meaning that she is pretty underweight. Um, I might feed her an extra pinky mouse, we'll see. Um, but for right now, I'm just gonna see how she takes this one mouse and go from there. So, feeling it. Oh yeah, it's pretty warm. Uh, let's turn this off. Yeah, it feels thoroughly warm. Yep, it's definitely ready to be presented to Laura. So I'm just gonna put this uh, heat gun in a safe place to make sure it doesn't fall over and burn anything up. And then we'll move to feeding Laura. So here is Laura. She's currently alert and watching me most likely. And here we have the frozen thawed pinky mouse. So. We're gonna present it to her and let's see what happens. So here it is here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna just wag it next to her. And she's gonna pick up the smell as soon as she does. Oh, you can see her right now. She notices there's something going on. Still wagging it next to her. And the reason why I do this is to simulate movement so she thinks it's actually alive. Okay, she's starting to move to it. Oh yeah, she's hungry. Oh, there she goes. She's grabbing at it. She really wants it. Okay, there we go. She is a hungry girl. All right, so you can see because I presented it to her head first, she's going ahead and trying to eat it. Uh, she's trying to reposition her head and the mouse. Uh, she's having a little bit of an issue, but I'm sure she'll be able to figure it out as she has before. So I'm gonna be quiet now so you guys can just watch.
and tells that she uh, was really hungry. She's just taking that thing down. Normally she takes uh, more time, but she is just going at it. She was really hungry. There's a little bit of the substrate that she's taken down with it. Uh, just a little bit of eco earth. I'm not too concerned about it because uh, her body can actually just pass it. But you can tell she's trying to take that down too. She may end up spitting it up. Alright. I'm going to see if I can get that little bit of cocoa fiber out of her mouth because it's kind of stuck. Uh, but I don't want her to regurgitate it. But if she does, I can just take it back. Uh, I don't think that would be a good idea because she's like kind of flinching away. But, oh well, yeah, she is really hungry. Uh, normally when I'm feeding her and she actually fully ingests the animal, the uh, frozen thawed pinky mouse, she takes her good old fashioned time. But you can see now it's already like a third of the way down her stomach. She's really, she was really, really hungry. So, yep, that is the feeding. Uh, you can tell the little bulge right there, that's where it is currently. Um, so I may end up feeding her uh, tomorrow, maybe. Uh, we'll see. But she was very hungry. So, yeah, that's it for the video. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, leave a comment below, and share this with your friends on different forums and social media. Uh, if you want to follow me on Instagram, my Instagram is Kite Talks About. And I also have a website, kitetalksabout.com, and a Twitter. So I have a little bit of everything. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a blessed day, and goodbye.